G'day everybody, it's Daniel McCabe here at GI Energy again. Just wanted to do a really quick video to support our full article explaining the difference between a string inverter and a microinverter setup for your solar system. So the main difference is a string inverter means you have to have a number of panels connected together in a string on your roof. So you may have eight panels that are all connected together and wired in series which means that the voltage is added up as each panel is connected together. That volts, which is DC current, will go down into a string inverter that will typically sit on the wall near your meter box, and that's where the conversion from DC to AC happens. And basically your inverter then makes that energy useful power for your home or business. A microinverter is very different. As the name suggests, it's a small inverter. If you had eight panels on your roof, you would have one microinverter per panel and that same conversion from DC to AC would happen on the roof and then you would have 240 volts AC coming down into your home. Now there's pros and cons of both of these types of technology. The main benefit for having microinverters is that each panel will work completely independently from one another. This means that if you had one of those eight panels that wasn't working at 100% for any reason the rest of those eight panels with microinverters would continue to operate at their maximum efficiency. If you compare that to a string inverter, the same eight panels, if you had one that was working at 80% for example, then the whole string would potentially operate at only 80%. There's also other advantages which are listed in our full article. The main disadvantage with a microinverter system versus a string inverter system is cost. If you had a 6.6 .6 kilowatt system, for example, that's typically 18 solar panels. With 18 solar panels, you would need one string inverter on the wall of your home, or you would need 18 microinverters, so one per panel. Now, the cost isn't 18 times as much, but it is roughly 2.7 times as much for the same components of the system, so just for the inverter component of the system. There are other pros and cons which we've listed in our full article. If you do have any questions, please feel free to get in touch. What you'll find from reading is that there, there are some situations where a microinverter system is definitely preferred, and then there's lots of other situations where it may not be. Just as one last note, you may also come across the terminology power optimizer, which is a very similar thing to a microinverter, and we've added a paragraph at the end just to explain exactly where they fit into this equation. So please have a read. Let us know if you have any questions and uh, we look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.